Stethoscope, that's your stethoscope. Putting on the testicope. So just before Grit's three-month birthday, he came down with a sudden strange sickness for no reason, and we went to the doctor and couldn't, they couldn't really figure out what was going on. And I know my wife was sitting on the couch and, a, you know, the Christmas campaign for St. Jude came on and she said, well, he's sick, but at least he's not that sick. Well, it turned out he was that sick. So Grit was diagnosed with embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma, which is super rare. Usually comes in kids aged two to up to teenagers, and uh, he was only less than three months old at the time. You know, they had discovered that it was probably in utero. You know, it's the ultimate knockout punch. Life's all about how you respond to things, you know, and, and hence the name Grit. You know, we had to make a choice, and it was a pretty easy one. He had to stand up and fight, and despite what happened, despite what comes, you know, we had to wake up tape our hands, put our gloves on, and get after it. I know for sure we've had over 100 plus rounds of chemo. Um, we just completed our 33rd round of radiation. We've had two major surgeries. He's a talker, he's a mover, he's a shaker, he loves life, he's a big smiler. Great kid, he's exactly what you'd want in a child. I can't, I can't think of anything that I wouldn't do or sacrifice for, for grit. He means absolutely everything. He means the world, uh, everything, you know, everything about his name, his personality. He just radiates what, what we believe is a family. This place is great, it's an amazing place. They just make everything easy. They make you so comfortable. They have taken care of the hospital bills, the equipment that we needed, the take-home supplies, the dressings, everything. They take care of everything. We're living proof and we can go out and tell the story. Like, this is what they did for us. Uh, they saved our family, they kept us together. I wish and hope someday that the things that happen here and the research is done here that can help, we can help everybody. Not only are you touching lives here in Memphis and St. Jude, we're touching them in Boston and Kansas City and Denver and all the various children's hospitals all over the world. Just in this two years, they've had breakthroughs and eventually they will break through. And uh, we're not gonna have to worry about this. No kid's gonna have to worry about this. Well, this is just another fixture of football and what it means. And um, so for me, it's an absolute great way to, to pay the debt um, that I'd never actually be able to financially repay um, and, and use our sport for good. It's just something that everybody can get behind. And on Friday nights, when their team scores and the other team scores, everybody can celebrate. We teach young people just those basic moral guidelines on how to live life, how to conduct life, how to do things right. Odds are somebody you know will experience this in their, their lifetime. And the fact that with St. Jude, whether it's through the research done or if they become a St. Jude patient, your dollars, those dollars will impact them in some way or another. And that's what ultimately we want to do as, as football coaches. We want to impact our kids. And what our kids want to do is they want to impact their communities. Um, and that's how you do it. We just become this even bigger, stronger family because not only are we in it for the sport, but we're in it for a bigger cause, something that's even bigger than ourselves, which is why sports, not just football, but why sports is, is such a great thing.